Hi everybody, welcome back to my new video. Today I'll show you on how to crochet loose cropped cardigans with puff slip for size extra small to large. Even though if you haven't crocheted any cardigans before, you will definitely know how to crochet after watching this video. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon. So let's get started. For this project, you will need measuring tape, cutler, 3.5mm hook, 4mm hook, marker, and yarn. First, let's start with a back piece. Use 3.5mm crochet hook and make a slip knot. Chain a total of 100. After chaining 100, block off the last chain and chain 3. Now, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain that you have blocked and make a double crochet. Continue doing this, work one double crochet in all the stitches. After completing this row, to begin new row, always chain 3. Turn your walk. And start working one double crochet from the second stitch from your hook. It's a one draw repeat, so you have to repeat this again and again until you reach your desired length. Here I have crocheted till row number 42. Let's make a front piece now. Create a slip knot and chain a total of 46. Make two pieces for the front piece by using the same number of chains. After chaining 46, we have to make the same stitch as the back piece, so block off the last chain and chain 3. Now, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain that you have blocked and make a double crochet. Continue doing this, work one double crochet in all the stitches. Chain 3, turn your walk and start working one double crochet from the second stitch from your hook. Continue making rows till the same length of your back piece. I have crocheted two pieces for the front and now we have to join the pieces.
मैक ए स्लिप नॉट and make a slip stitch to join the pieces From here till the next piece, make a single crochet. Make a slip stitch from here to join the piece. Let's make a sleeve now. For the sleeve, we'll start with the ribbing, so create a slip knot. Use your 3.5mm crochet hook and chain a total of 40. After chaining 40, join the first chain. Now use 4 mm hook and chain 3. Work 1 double crochet in all the stitches. Now, make a slip stitch to join into the third chain that we made in the beginning.
chain 1 we will use front post and back post double crochet for the ribbing so yarn over insert your hook around the back of your double crochet and make a normal double crochet so this is front post double crochet next yarn over insert your hook from the front of your double crochet and make a normal double crochet so this is back post double crochet you have to repeat these two posts to complete the round Once you complete the round, make a slip stitch to join into the chain 1 that we made in the beginning. Chain 1 So from the second row of ribbing, make exactly as the previous one. If front post then make a front post double crochet, if back post then make a back post double crochet. Repeat this stitch as longer as you want. So once you complete the round, make a slip stitch to join into the chain 1 that we made in the beginning. We are going to crochet a sleeve now, so chain 3. Make double crochet into the same stitch. We are going to increase from here, so make two double crochet in all the stitches and complete the round. So this is how we increase in crochet. Make a slip stitch to join. Always chain 3 to create new round. And now work 1 double crochet in all the stitches. We don't need to increase from here. Repeat this again and again till your desired length. Once you are done, your sleeve will look exactly like this.
Once you are done ribbing, it will look like this. Now, make the same ribbing on the waist area. So, here is the final look. If you really enjoyed this video and want this type of tutorial videos from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.